Hey guys, I am going to do my essential oils one-on-one -on -one class um, here. So basically what I'm gonna do is kind of just go through the basics of oils, um, how we use them, what we use them for, what is an essential oil, and then I'm gonna kind of walk through each oil in the Young Living Starter Kit. Um, so this is a class that I teach in person but I just kind of wanted to hop on here and do it online as well because I know that summer is super busy and uh, like especially parents, your kids have soccer and baseball and everything in between. So just for the convenience of it, I thought that I would do a video and hop on. So uh, my name is Brittany and I've been using Young Living for just about two years. I'm just kind of getting into the business side of um, the company and it's been really great so far. Um, I plan to do markets and that sort of thing this summer so hopefully that will kind of branch out a little bit more and get some oils in more people's homes. Um, when I was introduced to oils I was pregnant with my first babe. He's 13 months old now and I had a like severe migraine. It was the first time I've ever really had a headache and I wasn't aware that you could take Tylenol at the time um, when you're pregnant, if you're in pain. But one of my dancer's moms had said um, that she had an oil that she could bring to me to try. So she dropped me off a blend of Panoe and Peppermint. Um, and it was amazing. My, my migraine was up here at the, at the front of my forehead and I went from laying in like a completely dark room for almost two days to sitting at my kitchen table eating something in about 20 minutes. So I basically like immediately phoned her and said, what, what was that and where, where do I get some? So it just so happened that uh, she was having an oil party that weekend. So I went and I got a starter kit, which like I said, we'll go through um, in a little bit here. And from then on, it's just kind of been like this relentless pursuit to, to replace everything in my home that I can with oils or Young Living products. Um, I do make a lot of my own products. Um, I have lots of DIYs on my website or on my Facebook group. I post lots on my Instagram too. So if you want to give those a follow, then there's, yeah, lots of recipes for um, like easy DIYs, lots that come from the, the starter kit oils as well. Um, so I am a certified personal trainer. I've been in the fitness industry since 2011. So I've kind of always been conscious about like physical health, right? Um, and I opened a small uh, fitness and dance studio in Kamsak. Um, that's where we live, Kamsak, Saskatchewan. So I opened that two years ago and uh, taught, taught dance and fitness the first year and then uh, just kind of went into dance last year and now we'll we'll kind of see what what this year brings um so like i said we have we have a little 13 month old boy and we use oils for him all the time as well um so yeah it's just kind of been like this cool transition that our household has been going through for the last two years into oils and um the most common question i usually get from people is do they work? Do they really work? And I love answering it because it's like the most simple answer in the world because it's just, yes, yes, they do work. Um, it's kind of cool to think like lots of these oils um, are like the foundations of medicine, right? They were everything that Young Living sells in an oil bottle comes from the earth, um, which I just think is amazing. Everything in these oils or bottles or products the world came with. So we've been, we're meant to use these um, medicinally and like just therapeutically and just to help, help everything in our lives really. So before we had the pharmaceutical side, this is what, this is what we used. So now it's kind of, it's not a new trend. Oils are not 
not a new thing. Like they seem to be just because they're blowing up and they're everywhere now. Um, I know it, it gets to be a little bit much sometimes, but I think that the people who use them are, are just so excited about them that they want to share them because they are wonderful. So that being said, um, we're kind of just going to go through the two classes that I have made. So the one is essential oils. 101. This is basically what we're going to go through, but I'm also going to touch on my ditch and switch with the starter kit oils. Okay, so both of these classes are posted on my blog. Um, they cover all the starter kit oils and kind of what you can replace in your home with each oil. Um, one of the like the biggest comments I get when somebody's looking into getting a starter kit is like, oh, I really want it, but you know, I just don't have the money right now, which I get totally. Um, so basically my answer to them is, so next time you go to buy like a A535 or a Vix Vapor Rub or anything like that, that we'll kind of touch on in this ditch and switch, don't buy it, okay? Don't replace those things in your home and just save that money that you would go and spend on those products and then transfer it into buying a starter kit because all of these oils have so many uses and, the, and we can cut out so many products that we're spending countless dollars on for so many individual products when an oil, one bottle of oil can do so many different things, okay? So, um, let's get started. So, okay. so basically, um, just to touch on like essential oils in general, there are two kinds. There is fragrance grade and therapeutic grade. So Young Living, everything is 100% therapeutic grade. Um, Young Living is like the founder of essential oils. We've been around the longest. We have our own farms. We have such integrity with um, farming and harvesting the product that we have like exclusive deals around the world with certain countries that we're, we are the only company that's allowed to go in and harvest, um, which is amazing and it just speaks volumes about the integrity of Young Living and uh, like sustaining the resources, right? Because there's there's a reason Young Living's frankincense for the five mil is $47 and you can go into a health food store and buy like a huge jug of it, like 700 mils for like $36. It just, it doesn't make sense. And that's kind of where like the quality comes in. Young Living is always 100% therapeutic great it's pure essential oil where um like that big bottle of frankincense might only be i don't know three percent five percent there's no real um what's the word like regulation when it comes to like grade a therapeutic or it's the same with food okay there's no regulations with the word organic and it's the exact same with oils so when you find a company you trust, like Young Living, then it's just, it makes life really easy. So, uh, yeah, lots of products in the house you can replace. Um, cleaning products, that was a big thing for me when I, when I started um, getting rid of things in my home. It amazed me, A, well, what I was cleaning with. We're kind of made to think now that clean um, means poison and like like bleach is clean um, for some reason but I don't I don't know it kind of blew my mind when I actually started paying attention to what I was like cleaning my bathtub with and then getting in my bathtub to like soak in um, so that was a big eye-opener for me as well um, which will kind of touch on the thieves line which would be Young Living's cleaning line as well. Okay, so um, the reason that we kind of choose Young Living, I've kind of already been going over this obviously, um, but we have a seed to seal guarantee. 
Um, so what that means is Young Living guarantees that um, our crops are harvested, they're put into the distill, um, the essential oil is extracted, and then it is bottled right then and there. And it's pretty amazing. Anybody can go to a Young Living farm um, and you can go see the process. I've not been yet. It is one of my goals to go. Um, and from what I hear, like there's no locked doors. You're welcome to go in and out. And it's just a very open and honest company that way. Okay, so there's seed to seal guarantee. Um, they do have a kick-ass rewards program that's called ER or essential rewards. And basically what that is is it's like a monthly monthly subscription basically. So it'd be like your elite membership. If you're gonna dive into uh, the lifestyle, then this is your best bang for your buck, really. You place a monthly order, um, a minimum of 50 PV, which is a product value. Each product has a, has a numerical value on it. Um, so you do have a minimum order of 50 PV every month but then you, you earn points back throughout that. So in your first three months, you earn 10%, and after three months, you earn 20%, up to 24 months, and then you earn a full 25%. Um, so they're very generous with their points um, as to what, like you can use them to purchase your free product after. The value is, is quite fair for that. Um, so that's that's awesome and then there's bonuses at like three six nine and twelve months for for being on ER that they send you free product as well so um, that's really awesome um, the starter kit is also a big reason so this is what the kit looks like there we go okay so this is where the the oils are and then you also get a diffuser. So this is the Desert Mist. I will take it out in a little while. They just um, released that you can order a Desert Mist instead of the Dewdrop or the Dewdrop, whatever one you want. But I feel like most people are ordering Desert Mists now just because they're a little bit more decorative. But I will take that out in a little bit here. Um, it's, it's a one-stop shop for me. I can get literally everything except my food and you can actually get some food from Young Living. Um, but I can get basically everything that I need from there and they, they pay me to shop there. So it's pretty awesome and I trust, I trust anything that they come out with because I just, I use their products, I love them and I know how much thought and heart and uh, like science goes into these products. So it, that's a no-brainer for me. Um, and of course they have a generous compensation plan. So the business side for me happens so naturally and I think that it does for a lot of the Young Living distributors that you just get, you get a kit and then you use them all the time and all of a sudden you're, you're telling your like family and friends about them and you know maybe like giving, giving them some to try and then they're like oh that's like really good I like that where how do I get one or whatever and it just kind of snowballs from there so that's kind of how it happened for me I didn't I didn't order my kit coming into this thinking oh this is gonna be a great business venture for me but it's turned into that so um, yeah that's really good and like I said it is a it's a generous compensation plan you can always go on the website and look at the uh, income disclosure statement and just kind of see for yourself how uh, how they kind of pay their employees to to uh, distribute the oils okay and that's another thing I just wanted to touch on um, some people when they sign up they're like I don't want to sell them I don't want to sell them and that's totally fine you you never have to but the one thing to remember is um, I don't sell Young Living Young Living sells Young Living I just distribute it so I'm basically like a vessel through the company um, to go to go and, and talk about it and educate about the products. I don't personally sell them, okay? So it's not something that you have to buy a whole lot of stock and get into fully. It's just talking about them and you would be so surprised how naturally it happens for others to want to, to be involved. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. 
that way. So in the starter kit here, I'm just going to flip to both of these pages. We have um, lavender, peppermint, lemon, copaiba, thieves, panaway, RC, purification, digize, and frankincense. Then we get a bonus oil, which is Northern Lights Black Spruce. Um, you get a thieves waterless hand purifier. Uh, you get a roller filament that you can pop into one of the bottles and just use it as a roller. Um, 10 love it, share it cards and little um, oil like bottle samples that you can fill up and give out to people. Two Ningxia Red packets, which is the um, like dietary supplement drink from Young Living. It's full of wolf berries or goji berries. Um, it's delicious and it's just mind-blowing how much nutritional value is packed into one ounce of that drink. And then you get a product guide too, which is really handy to have. Um, and just natural health products that I want to touch on because we will go go through those as well. Um, so a number of Young Living's essential oils have been registered by Health Canada as a natural health product or a NHP. So this is what the natural health product logo looks like. Um, so this means Health Canada regards it as a naturally occurring substance that is used to restore or maintain good health. And Young Living currently has 56 natural health products. Six of them are in the premium starter kit. Okay, so basically we can make um, proven medical claims on these oils that they, that they work to... Yeah, restore or maintain good health, which is amazing. Okay, so I'm going to open up this kit and we're going to get into it. So my first one that we're going to start with is lavender, which I always find it pretty funny um, when I open a lavender bottle and someone smells it for the first time and they're like, it doesn't smell like lavender. No. It, it smells like real lavender. It doesn't smell like lavender bubble bath that you buy at the store because that's not real lavender. That's made in a shop somewhere and it's a chemical, actually. So real lavender, I know you guys can't smell it, but I'm going to open it and just smell it from a damn self. Okay, so fragrant influence. It's calming, relaxing, and balancing both, both physically and emotionally okay so it five mil all of the starter kit oils are five mil they have about 85 drops in them okay so um application uh, they recommend to apply two to four drops on location so um head for headache chest for if you're congested, bottoms of your feet to relax, wherever you're going to apply it, two to four drops. You can inhale it directly um, or you can diffuse it. So uses for lavender, um, respiratory infections, high blood pressure, PMS, skin conditions such as acne, eczema, psoriasis, scarring, and stretch marks, um, burns. I use this all the time because I seem to burn myself every damn night when I cook supper somehow. Um, I just put it straight on two to four drops and it takes the sting right out. No lie. Um, insomnia, super good for sleeping. I put lavender in Lucas's bath if he is just like not winding down before bath time. Throw it in the tub. It's amazing. Um, nervous tension, again, it's a, it's a nervine comative, so it relaxes our entire body. Um, and joint and muscle pain, so strains, sprains, all of that. Um, lavender is usually uh, referred to as like a Swiss Army knife, that you can use it for pretty much anything. So we always, always have lavender with us when we travel and we go, even just like to the park. It's in Lucas's diaper bag. We have it everywhere. Um, my favorite uses for lavender are to add them into Lucas's baby products, such as like his wipes and cream. So I make a diaper cream for him and then just like a 
all over body moisturizer and then I, I make his own like his wipes too so lavender is always in his wipes I put it into my mascara for eyelash growth and just like hair health in general it's in my mermaid spray as well which is one of my excuse me DIY products that I make um, apply to sunburn for relief and skin health so just like if I burn myself cooking I will put this on a sunburn as well um, apply to skin to ease bug bites rashes or other irritations again it's a it's a calmative so it's going to make any irritation kind of subside on the inside or outside um, and add to DIY home products such as air linen um, like air freshener and dryer sheets so again I make my own like uh, Febreze I guess you would call it like an air freshener spray and I always put this on my dryer balls as well for for doing laundry so things that we can stop buying to replace lavender or to for lavender to replace are bath oils sleeping pills after sunscreen after bite rash creams air fresheners vapor rubs headache and headache medications okay so that's a long list it's a good start and lavender is a natural health product as well okay so next we have lemon which is also a natural health product lemon is a go-to for if you're having company over nobody hates to smell a lemon okay it's just like a universal smell of happy and clean so this is always good to have diffusing when you have like a big group of people coming over so fragrant influence um, it promotes daily clarity of thought and purpose with a fragrance that is invigorating enhancing and warming okay um, studies have found that citrus fragrances boost immunity induce relaxation and reduce depression okay so um, application so this has a dilution ratio of one part oil one point carrier so a carrier oil is a fatty oil that's going to um, dilute the oil equally two parts of oil and the carrier so then it's just not um, directly onto your skin okay so you can use a young living has a v6 carrier oil which is phenomenal um, you can use fractionated coconut oil because it just doesn't get hard again you can use regular coconut oil if you're putting it in like a bomb or something if you don't mind it being like the consistency of regular coconut oil um, avocado oil olive oil almond oil joba joba oil there's tons out there just kind of research them and depending on what you're making then um, a different carrier might be better than another okay so one to one dilution ratio um, apply two to four drops on location so two to four drops and then two to four drops of your carrier put it wherever you're gonna put it um, you can inhale it directly or you can diffuse it um, so we can use lemon for circulation problems respiratory issues cough and cold I know if I'm ever getting like a sore throat I just kind of rub it on the outside of my throat and it it feels so good um, UTIs I have used this mix with copaiba for a UTI and it worked like I was amazed um, varicose veins you can rub it on the outside with that carrier and it helps reduce the look of varicose veins, anxiety, um, hypertension, digestive problems, and acne. Okay, so those are some uses for lemon. My favorite uses for it um, to clean fruits and vegetables. So before I had the Thieves um, fruit and veggie soak spray to clean my fruits and vegetables, I use lemon oil. So I would just put everything in like a big container fill it up with water put a couple drops of lemon in it shake it around let it sit for a minute and rinse it out and it if you're not cleaning your fruits and vegetables start cleaning your fruits and vegetables because it's really weird what comes off of them like really weird um add into your water to boost immunity improve circulation and relieve inflammation so just like one drop you don't need a whole lot because it is potent it's strong 
Um, rub onto throat to soothe swelling and soreness. I kind of already touched on that. Um, add to a DIY all-purpose cleaner. So I do use this along with the Thieves in a DIY cleaner, which you can find up on my website. Um, diffuse to enhance mood and boost energy. So again, like lemon, you know what lemon smells like. It wakes you up, it's nice. Makes you wanna kinda get up and go. And remove temporary tattoos. So that is a really good one to know for lemon. Like if your kid comes home covered in tattoos from like a fair or something and you just happen to have family photos or like a wedding or something that day, this sucker will take it right off. Same with, so um, things that we can replace are like degreasers and goo gone. Lemon oil is phenomenal for taking off stickers or like labels or just gunk in general. It comes right off, just straight onto whatever you're doing. And yeah, it's, it's amazing. Moving on, peppermint. So peppermint's also a natural health product. Um, fragrant influence purifying and stimulating to the conscious mind. So this, uh, I know some people use it to sleep. For me, peppermint uh, really does the opposite. It does not put me to sleep. It kind of like stimulates everything. But everybody's different on some level. So if it works for you to sleep and calm down, awesome. Um, so research indicates that peppermint aroma inhaled during mental tasks may help attention, performance, and focus. Okay, so like studying, homework, anything, work, anything you have to like sit down and do, peppermint is a good one to have, have that way. Um, it is also found to lessen headache and back pain. So like I had mentioned before, this was in that blend with Panaway um, when I had my migraine and I do still use it uh, for headaches, absolutely. The only thing with peppermint is if you're gonna put it on straight, just be careful not to put it too close to your eyes because it might make them water a little bit. Um, so application ratio is one drop oil, two drops carrier. Okay, so it's a one to two ratio. Um, we can apply one to two drops on location, abdomen or temples, depending on what you're using it for. Inhale it directly or you can diffuse it. Okay, so uses for peppermint oil are arthritis, respiratory infections, viral infections, fungal infections, digestive problems, headaches, nausea, skin conditions, itchy varicose veins, eczema, psoriasis, dermatitis, and it can suppress um, hot flashes. So you might hear this referred to like liquid air conditioning, and that's kind of what they mean is it's a cooling, cooling oil. Okay, so my favorite uses for peppermint are to place on back of neck to relieve neck and head tension, rub over stomach to help aid digestion and calm motion sickness. So there's a reason that restaurants give us peppermints after we're done eating. And that reason is because peppermint soothes nausea and, and stomach issues, okay? Um, diffuse for mental alertness and energy boost. Inhale to relieve congestion, stuffy and runny nose. It is amazing how fast peppermint oil will stop you from coughing. Like, amazing. Um, add to shampoo to control dandruff and deter slash kill lice. So that's a big one. I, I feel like lice is kind of like making a comeback in a lot of schools these days. So get some peppermint oil. Um, apply to your skin to deter ticks and other bugs, including mosquitoes. There was a really cool experiment done last summer by um, one of my girlfriends, Leanne, and she made a ring um, of Young Living peppermint oil, and then I'm not sure what other brand she used, but she made a ring of like a whatever brand of essential oil, she put a wood tick in the middle of each of them. And the wood tick like cruised right through the other, whatever it was, other brand of essential oil. And he would not go near this. He was like walking to the circle and then would like walk around and he just would not touch it and he would not go out of it. So there's your proof that it deters wood ticks. So um, with peppermint oil, what can we stop buying? 
Um, headache medications, caffeine pills, dandruff shampoo, bug and tick spray, lice shampoo, vapor rub, gravol, Pepto, and heartburn medication. Okay. So next we have frankincense. This, I have to say, is one of my favorite oils. For sure. So, frankincense. Um, side note, was given to baby Jesus when he was born, so I often joke and say, like, oh, it was good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for me, which is true. Um, so it increases spiritual awareness, promotes um, meditation, improves attitude, and uplifts spirits. So frankincense was valued more than gold during ancient, ancient times, was given to Christ upon his birth, and is mentioned as one of the oldest known medical records, dating from 16th century BC. Okay, so that's what I mean when I'm talking about, like, oils are not new, they're not like a trend that's going out of style, they're going so far back to what, like, 16th century BC? Mm. Okay. Let's be real here. So application, you can use this neat on your skin. Neat means right out of the bottle. Just be sure that you're always like testing a patch of your skin before you put an oil on it neat. Don't put it on your entire face if you've never put it on your arm before because we just don't want that. Um, so two to four drops on location, inhale directly or you can diffuse it. So uses for frankincense. Depression, respiratory infections, inflammation, immune stimulating, um, anti-aging and skin conditions, acne, itchy, varicose veins, eczema, and psoriasis. So I use this on my skin all the time. It's amazing. I've noticed a huge difference between this and using um, like the skincare products from Young Living or making my own and then using the makeup. But I really do believe that frankincense has a lot to do with my skin. Um, an immune stimulating fun fact about frankincense, they burned it in the streets during the plague to like try and kill all of the disease. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty powerful. Um, my favorite uses for frankincense are adding to moisturizer or use neat as a skincare roller. So that um, roller that they give you, I'm just going to take it out here really quick in your kit. So it looks like this, okay, so it's just like a little top, and what you can do is you can pop um, this off of your bottle, and then just pop that roller in there. So frankincense is, frankincense is an excellent example of one of the oils you could use that roller ball with. Um, diffuse during Pilates or yoga, so I have frankincense as like my matte oil for Pilates all the time. I find that it just like really grounds me down, lets me focus on what I'm doing. I'm not thinking about my dishes or my laundry or my kid or, you know. Um, apply to chest to relieve coughing and apply to planter's warts or cold sores. So I had a planter's wart on my toe. I never had a wart before in my life. My um, like husband found it and he's like, that's a wart. Like, okay. Cool. So I had put frankincense on it for three days in a row and by the end of the week it was gone. So mm, that was pretty cool. Didn't have to go go into the doctor or anything. I just kind of took care of it myself. So what can we replace with frankincense in our house? Skin toners, acne spot treatments, wrinkle serums, vapor rubs, and cold sore ointments. And I guess, yeah, whatever you do for warts, like that freezing or whatever you don't wouldn't need to do that either. Okay. So copaiba. I didn't know how to say this oil. I called it, what the hell? Um, co, copaiba? Cohiba, that's what I called it, like the cigars. But it is copaiba. So this one doesn't have like a real... I don't know, identifying smell to it? Hmm. I don't know. So, fragrant influence, it lightens and improves mood. Um, healers in the Amazon use Copaiba for all types of pain and inf 
inflammatory disorders, both internal and external. It has the highest amounts of beta carophylline of any essential oil, including cannabis oil, okay? So I don't remember the actual numbers. I think, I think Cobaiba has 55% beta carophylline, um, and I think cannabis oil is something like 35. I could be wrong, that's just what I'm thinking that the numbers are. Um, so application, you can use this neat, absolutely. Two to four drops on location, inhale directly or diffuse. Um, so uses pain relief for arthritis, skin disorders like psoriasis, insect bites, stomach distress, sore throat, excuse me, and anxiety, okay? So my favorite uses for this oil, um, I apply it neat to Luke's gums and his teethers. So for babies, infants, I put it in my mouth before I put it in his, obviously. He doesn't mind it at all. Like I said, I put it, like I will douse his teethers or like even the nipple of like the bottle before he has it. His soother and just right onto his gums when he's teething. This is a freaking teething godsend. I'm not kidding you. You need this if you have little ones who are cutting teeth. Um, apply to inflamed slash injured body parts for relief. So also again, Lucas, he walked super early and we know how kids walk. Their heads like way more than their body until they're two years old. So they like lean forward and smack into things a lot. So he has always a bruise here or here, or sometimes both. And so I put this on his bruises or bumps or anything and it does make um, a big difference with the just swelling and just the even pain. Like if it's bothering him, I can put this on and it, it uh, seems to subside fairly quickly. Apply to stiff, stiff joints for relief. So um, I know like my wrists sometimes in the winter will get a little bit sore and I put this on and it helps, helps a lot. Um, add to a glass of water to relieve UTIs. Again, that's what I had mentioned with the lemon. I mix this in lemon oil together. One drop each in, in a cup of, I would say, four ounces of water. Slam it back and I was good to go. And diffuser add to Epsom salt bath as a calmative. Okay, so things that we can replace with Copaiba. Uh, teething gels, anti-inflammatory medication, joint and muscle rub, arthritis cream, and medication. Okay, so next we have Digize, which is again a natural health product. And Digize basically stands for digestion, okay? So this oil is not my favorite smell by any means. Uh, you won't catch me diffusing this. I know some people do diffuse it. This is my grandma's like favorite oil to diffuse. So that's cool. Um, so in Digize, this is a blend. It has tarragon, ginger, peppermint, juniper, fennel, lemongrass, anzi, and patchouli. Okay, so um, you can apply this neat applique, or sorry, no you can't. Dilution ratio is one to four for this oil. One drop oil, four drops carrier. Um, so you can massage or use as a compress on the stomach or you can inhale directly or you can diffuse it obviously. Um, uses digestive problems and digestion, heartburn, gas, bloating, kills and digest parasite infestation. Whoa. Um, my favorite uses for this rub over stomach to help aid digestion and calm motion sickness and inhale to soothe morning sickness. I used this a lot when I was pregnant. Um, I know I've given it to, I would say at least five people at my house who have had heartburn and they have just put it like one drop in again, like four ounces of water and knocked it back. Or you just rub it like right where, right where you have heartburn. Just rub that oil um, straight on. So what can we re replace with this? Pepto, Tums, Gravel, Modian, heartburn medication, on and on and on. I know that there's a million different things that you can buy for digestion, but this basically anything um, in your GI tract, this is good for that, okay? So next we have themes, which is a big one. I feel like probably if you were gonna pick like one oil to try, most people would pick 
Thieves or Lavender, but Thieves is a pretty popular one. So Thieves is a blend. It is an actual health product as well. It has clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary in it. It is a spicier oil. So yeah, you don't want to put this straight on to, that smells so damn good though. Um, on to little ones skin. You always want to dilute it. Um, they recommend diluting one to four. Okay, so one drop oil, four drops carrier. Um, diffuse for 15 minutes every three to four hours. Apply neat to bottoms of feet for immune boost is how they recommend using it. So this is a blend of highly antiviral, antiseptic, antibacterial, and anti-infectious essential oils. Um, Thieves was created from research based on legends about a group of 15th century thieves who rubbed oils on themselves or actually carried the physical um, form of this, what's in the blend, to avoid contracting the plague while they robbed the bodies of the dead and dying. So when the king caught them, basically he told the group of thieves, if you tell me how you didn't die or get sick, I'll lessen your penalty. Um, so I think that that is like so cool. I didn't know this story um, until this winter when um, my like up, 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 up line, Wendy came and did an aroma yoga and she did a 101 after that and she uh, told us that story. So I was, I was pretty mind blown by that. And again, it's just proving that these are not new. They've been around forever and they work. Um, so uses for Thieves Immune Boost Household Cleaning. They have a whole Thieves line that is incredible. Um, look into it for sure. Mm, immune Boost, this is huge. And one thing to remember when we're talking essential oils and about Thieves is there's a, like no, they're not magic bullets. If you're sick, you're, you're not going to put Thieves on your feet and feel better. Nobody should ever tell you otherwise that you can, you know, just put this on and you'll be healed or better. I mean, nobody is, nobody should be saying those things about, about oils. They're not magic bullets and the company and anybody um, who's higher up in distributing will, will make sure that you, you understand that that is not what we stand for okay so we're not trying to trick anybody into thinking that um, if you put this on your feet you'll be better but it does work as an immune booster so it's it's um, the before right we want to have that immunity so that we don't get sick and we want to always live above that wellness line and this helps you do that um, so my favorite uses for Thebes is to add to a DIY all-purpose cleaner. So again, this was in with the lemon oil that I had mentioned, that cleaner. Um, add to bottoms of feet for immune boost. So I put this on my feet, on Jason's feet, on Luke's feet. I diffuse it in the house during flu season. And then yeah, we use the whole Thebes line. So I mean, we, we get a good dose of immune booster from this oil. Um, diffuse to purify the air, kill airborne bacteria, apply to cold sores diluted and canker sores so dilute the crap out of it if you're gonna put it on like a canker sore or a cold sore because it gonna sting um rub on throat to soothe um soreness and swelling okay so same as that lemon oil i'll rub it on the outside of my throat i have gargled thieves um diluted in water it's pretty strong but it works. There is a throat, throat spray as well that you can get. Um, so you can replace with thieves, household cleaners, hand sanitizers, cold sore ointments, neocitrin, and other throat soothing drinks. Okay. RC. So this is a natural health product and it's another blend. So RC stands for respiratory comfort. Um, it's a blend of three different eucalyptus, um, myrtle, pine, lavender, cypress, black spruce, and peppermint. Okay, so this always smells different to me. I don't know why. It always kind of, 
but it smells good. It smells like something you would want if you're coughing, if that makes any sense. Um, so this decongests sinus passages, combats lung in infections, and relieves allergy symptoms. Okay, so respiratory comfort. Um, basically, some people say like for those who breathe or people who like to breathe, this is this is your oil. So application dilution ratio is one to one. Um, so we can diffuse. We, you can put it in a humidifier. Um, directly inhale it or apply on chest, neck, throat, or sinus area. Um, so uses, we can use this for colds, bronchitis, sore throats, coughs, respiratory congestion, and allergies. Um, my favorite uses for this is to add into a DIY chest rub. So I basically just make an at-home VIX with this oil. Um, I add a little extra myrtle oil that I have if it's for Lucas because that's kind of what they recommend for kiddos is myrtle for anything respiratory. Um, but yeah, I basically just put this in coconut oil and that's like our, our VIX. Um, apply to chest, back, and feet for cough and cold symptom relief. So that would just kind of be like with a little bit of a carrier and put it in and drop it into a steam shower for congestion relief. I love doing this. Even if um, like Lucas is sick, I'll run the shower as hot as it can go and put this in a diffuser in the bathroom, close the door, put a towel under so it gets really steamy and this just kind of fills up our bathroom. And I just kind of hold him and we breathe it in and it, it wonderful. Um, and diffuse for respiratory comfort. Okay, so things that we can replace with RC, um, cough and cold medications and vapor rub. Okay, so there's long list. I mean, I guess allergy, some allergy medications could be on there too. Um, but lots that we can use RC for. Next is Panaway. So Panaway is another blend and it stands for Pain Away. Okay, so it has clove, heliochrysium, wintergreen, and peppermint in it. So again, this was um, that second ingredient in the migraine rub that I got when I was pregnant. And I love this oil. This would be another one that I would recommend to pop that roller top into if you are going to use it straight, then it's a really good good option for that. Um, so it reduces pain, pain and inflammation. It increases circulation and accelerates healing. Um, relieves swelling, discomfort from arthritis, sprains, muscle spasm, cramps, bumps, and bruises. I'm not kidding. I use this all the time. Sore muscles if um, like my, my hip flexors get really sore now after having Lucas. Like easily, I guess. Maybe they are weaker. I don't know. Um, and for any like head or neck tension, mm, I love it. Okay, so application dilution radio ratio is one to one. Um, you can diffuse it, you can put it in a humidifier, you can inhale it directly. You can add one to two drops into an Epsom salt bath if you're feeling like achy or um, sore, sick, whatever. It's really good in a bath. Um, add or apply one to two drops on location or on your temples, back, neck, or forehead. So that would be like that headache or, or head tension um, relief. Um, relieving deep tissue pain, additional heliochrysium may be added to enhance the effect. And if you're relieving bone pain, then more wintergreen would be a good addition into here, okay? So my favorite uses are again to add it to the bath like Epsom salt bath for muscle and body tension relief, um, place on the base of the neck to relieve head and neck tension, rub on muscles post-workout, love, love this for after workout, and apply to body to relieve growing pains, strains, and general aches. So what can we replace? Muscle rubs, headache medication, kind of inflammation meds. Mm. Okay, so the last one um, out of the, the 10 oils that we get in, in the top of the kit, um, 
is purification, which is just, I think it's honestly one of everybody's favorites. Um, it's a blend of citronella, lemongrass, rosemary, maluka, um, lavender, and myrtle oil. So it cleanses and disinfects the air. Um, it neutralizes mildew, cigarette smoke, and disagreeable odors. It disinfects and cleans cuts, scrapes, and bug bites. Dilution ratio, it smells so good. Dilution ratio is one to one. Um, you can diffuse it 15 to 30 minutes every four, three to four hours. Um, you can directly inhale it. You can add one to two drops to an Epsom salt bath. Apply on location um, to cuts, sores, bruises, or wounds and add two drops into wool dryer balls. So again, like I mentioned using the lavender on the dryer balls for laundry, you can use purification too. Um, so my favorite uses for purification are adding into DIY, DIY home products such as air and linen freshener and dryer sheets. Um, so I do in my bathroom, I have a bottle of it's like 15 drops purification and water and I mean that is our bathroom spray it smells amazing and it, it works like that it doesn't just cover up odors like Febreze and stuff it actually kills them and neutralizes them and then you're left with this very pleasant smell um, diffuse to purify and freshen the air so again this would kind of be like a um, a lemon if you were gonna have company over or you know if you had like your house or your cabin locked up for a season and then you go in there and it has that like musty smell this is really great to quickly get it smelling nice and and fresh um, add to diaper genie and garbage cans to purify and neutralize odor I spray this in the diaper genie all the time because it's plastic and plastic absorbs everything, so it doesn't smell good in a diaper genie, okay? This makes it smell good, or tolerable at least, okay? It takes the stink away. Um, so we can replace air fresheners, linen fresheners, dryer dryer sheets, um, bug bites, and bug spray, because lemongrass and citronella are main ingredients in this baby. Okay, so those are the oils that come in the top of the kit and then we have so when you get your kit you open it up like this and then there's this little tab here and you pull that open and that's where all your bonus stuff is so northern lights black spruce is the bonus oil and i have gone through countless bottles of this i love it like it reminds me of home for one thing. Um, all of like the, I'm from Ontario, so all of the big spruce trees and just that like sappy smell almost. Um, and this is such a grounding oil. I think they say anything with like a big tree, right, has huge roots, so it's really grounding for you. And I find that if I'm having a squirrely day or if I need to sit down and do something, like I put this on um, before I started this because it was like, okay, I have to do this and this and this and this and I only have like two hours while Lucas snaps, but it was like, no, sit down and do this. Okay, so here we are. Um, so Northern Lights Black Spruce Essential Oils comes from Young Living's new Northern Lights Farm in British Columbia, so it's made in Canada. Um, this oil includes the naturally occurring constitutes alpha pinene, camphene, and beta pinene. Okay. Um, the application recommendations are dilution ratio one to one, diffuse up to 30 minutes three times daily, or apply one to two drops on bottom of feet along the spine and back of neck. Um, uses are meditation, relaxation, focus, and skin care. Okay, I've never used it on my skin, um, but I do sure use it for focus, relaxation, and meditation. Um, yeah, so those are...
That's kind of like the down low on all of the oils that we get. Again, so I just kind of flipped through my, both of these classes here for the, the info to give you guys. So those are up on my, my website. It's brittanymay.com. Um, and then, yeah, so this is the Thieves Hand Purifier. I really like it. There's no alcohol in it. It smells good. Um, it's got lots of peppermint in it. Thieves. Um, lemon, eucalyptus, rosemary, cinnamon. Very good. It doesn't dry your hands out either. So these are the, the small bottles. You can see that I've taken one out to give somebody a sample. Um, and then they come with the cards and then these are the Ningxia packets. So you can buy Ningxia red in these packets, which I know a lot of moms love because they send them for lunch, like in their kids' lunch box or whatever. They freeze them and then it's like an ice pack and slurp it up. There's, I think they're, well, there's 60 mils, so that would be um, the two servings, because they say 30 mils is one, one serving on here, okay? So you can get these in packets of a case. I think they come in 30, 60, or 90, or you can get the, the bottles, okay? And they, those come in two, four, or eight, I believe. Um, yeah, but that's kind of kind of what like the down low on the, the kit oils and how you can use them. Um, the product guide, so this is the new one. It has everything in it, like all of the oils, um, the Thieves line, Savvy Minerals, there's the, the food flavoring line now, um, Seedlings, which is really, really great for babes, um, especially newborns, it's just like, you don't want to be putting chemical on a newborn's or any kid's skin. Like it's frightening what is allowed in, in our products. Um, so that's that. And then I'll just open up this diffuser really quickly so you can take, take a look. So this is the Desert Mist. Um, like I said, it's just a little bit more decorative than the Dewdrop. And then there's different light settings as well. Okay. So when it's on, we can change change the color. I don't know if it's kind of like bright. Yeah, there's kind of the little pattern on it. Okay, moving. It's very nice. Um, okay, so yeah, if you have any questions um, about oils or how to get a kit, um, or maybe you want to get into more of like the business side of Young Living, that's that's great too. So uh, thanks for watching. We're just, just under an hour here. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and you can find um, some of the information helpful and useful. Um, it's important to remember that my favorite uses are my favorite uses. I'm not a doctor. Um, not meant to take the the place of like the opinion of your doctor or I'm not saying that um, these can replace indefinitely all of those items that I listed those are just what what I have personally replaced in my house using the oils I know that um, I'm not naive to the fact that modern day medicine has a place in this world um, so I'm not not saying that at all okay so just keep that in mind that everybody everybody's different when it comes to oils and some things like I said um, work differently for some people but I I know that oils help hundreds of thousands of people every day across the globe so I think that we can all agree that they work and uh, if you're interested in having them in your life or in your home then yeah, just reach out, shoot me a message, and I'd be happy to help you. Have a good day.